How's it going, guys? And welcome back to Be All Please Forgotten, the series where I take a look at underused and not often talked about pieces of gear to determine whether or not they deserve to be remembered within the modern meta of the game or should be left behind and forgotten. And today, we are taking a look at the lob. If you like to farm the lob for yourself, you're going to want to fast travel over to the floating tomb on Eden 6. Then you just jump down the hole, kill Grave Ward, and you can reset from there. But if you'd prefer to, the lob can also drop from the true stag of survival. The lob is a legendary Torg shotgun which fires out large slow moving orbs of energy that constantly deal damage to everything within the radius of it. Once it makes contact with a surface however it will explode dealing splash damage. The lob is able to come in every single element but non-elemental. Lob has had a decent history within the patch notes initially gaining a tick damage increase from 20% of the base hard damage up to 60% and the speed of the projectile was made to decelerate faster faster to increase the chance of hitting the same target multiple times with those ticks. Later on, the mag size was increased from 4 to 12, the damage per tick was once again greatly increased, and it now fires a burst shot of 3 orbs instead of just 1. Though finally, that burst would be reverted back from 3 to 1, and the fire rate would instead be greatly increased. So we've got ourselves another history lesson in this one, fellas, so uh, sit back, relax, and let's get into this shit. These patch notes didn't just come from nowhere, the lob used to be absolutely dog shit. It was barely functional and one of those duns that genuinely was like unable to do anything. And that was even back at Mayhem 3, back at launch of the game before Mayhem 2.0 and even before Mayhem 4. Had the LOM stayed that way, it would have been on the same level as the likes of the Creeping Death. The first buff, while being a little bit of an actual damage buff and overall mostly just a quality of life buff, it was pretty good. It made the lob nothing too amazing, but it did bring it up to a level that was a little bit more respectable. Was it at all worth using? No, not at all. It was still pretty shit when compared to pretty much every other gun in the game, but it was actually somewhat functional. This next buff though, the burst fire, mag size, and increased damage, this was the one. This is what brought in the golden era of the lob, although that was specifically the golden era of the lob. You would be hard pressed to find a single gun in the game at this time that was outperforming the lob. It's It was just it, disgustingly broken. This was still when Mayhem 4 was the max. There was no Mayhem 2.0 yet. There was no Mayhem 6 guns. There wasn't any of that. Even all of the best DLC guns that exist today didn't even exist yet. The entire meta was the lob. So then what happened? Because this last change wasn't really anything too heavy. It was just reducing the burst fire and making it have an increased fire rate. It was really just a trade-off more than anything. And yeah, it was. The actual power of the lob didn't really change that much. It just changed how it functioned, and I think actually this didn't kill a gun more than you may think. Now this change also came the same month that later on Mayhem 10 would release in, but the lob actually survived the initial Mayhem 10. It was one of the very few base game guns that was still functioning very well, and I think that this was the last time the lob was super popular, because once the game evened out and weapons were more balanced out and more things were usable at the end game, the lob was just no longer as fun to use. While it still has crazy damage and it is still enjoyable to kind of shoot this thing at something and just watch its particles evaporate before your very eyes, especially now with the higher fire rate you can just send forth a massive cascade of pure fucking energy, there's still some enjoyment to be had with this gun, but without the burst fire it just feels a little bit lacking. It's a fantastic gun, it is a really good gun, it's really strong, but it's not fun, and I think that's the biggest problem with the lob and why it kind of fell off as hard as it did. Well, overall, yes, this last change was pretty much a net neutral, but also could be argued that it actually was a buff in the end because the fire rate change was pretty damn good. The lob just lost a lot of what made it kind of unique to use and what made it super fun. Now it's just a very strong gun that can spam out a bunch of fucking black holes as fast as you want. But in the modern day, there's tons of guns in this game that can do that that are just stupidly strong without any sort of fun gimmick to them, and that's where the lob is, it's just amongst all those. It's also worth noting, I'm sure you'll see it in some of these Zane clips, that it is a little bit buggy with a higher fire rate. I never noticed this during the burst fire era, but now that you can kind of 
shoot it as fast as Zang can. Sometimes you'll notice that the damage feels a little bit delayed. I think this has something to do with when you just have too many of the lob orbs out on the field at once, but it can definitely be a little bit annoying to deal with. I don't really find it to be a problem on most of the other characters. I think it is just a fire rate issue and Zane is able to get a lot of that. In short, the Lamas had a hell of a history within this game, going from being complete and utter fucking dog shit that I wouldn't even waste my piss on should it have gotten stung by a jellyfish, to one of the most stupidly broken and overpowered weapons that was in this game, literally defining a meta around it pretty much, to finally still being very strong and pretty broken, but just not as enjoyable to use anymore. But that's gonna about do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all that. In the description will be a link to my Twitch channel where I will be live right after this video goes up, and right under that will be a link to my Discord server where you can come and join and hang out. But with that all being said, I hope to see you guys in the next one.